Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at effects inside Final Cut Pro 10. This is going to be a little bit unusual, but I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. By the way, we have a brand new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes our new Final Cut Pro 10, brand new Adobe CS6, including Premiere Pro and Autodesk Smoke Training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live webinars for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online video training, and you can learn more by visiting larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. Most of my webinars have a plot or a theme or some sort of hook that pulls them all together. <laughs> This, on the other hand, is a varied grab bag of different effects that we can create using the tools provided in Final Cut Pro 10. My goal is to showcase effects that you can actually use without spending a lot of effort. So what I want to do is I want to spend some time creating text effects because the text inside Final Cut 10 borders on the tacky. But there's some really good stuff that's buried in there that I want to show you where it is. I'll show you how to use blend modes to improve the look and how we can add, remove, or modify the animation that's associated with a text effect. We'll take a look at generators and how we can modify generators to create interesting backgrounds for text or other things that we need to, to key. We'll talk about how to soften the skin tones, how to use distort to put video on the side of an object, and we'll create a simple chroma key using green screen. We'll do other stuff, and then we'll open the floor to questions. So let's take a look at some, some basic backgrounds to get ourselves started. Built into Final Cut Pro 10 is the generator browser. It's this one right over here. And in it are a whole lot of generators. Now, there are more here than will be in yours because I've had a couple of um, manufacturers send me some stuff to take a look at. But the generators that I'm showing you today are all contained as part of the standard Final Cut 10 package. Some of these are just really quite limited. The gradient, for instance, we, we can't do a whole lot with. Or the grayscale, we can change its shades of gray. But if you dig a little bit deeper, I found a bunch that are useful that could be quite quite fun to play with. And this is the first, let's just zoom in a bit, Command Plus, called Organic. One of the things that you want to do when you're working with generators is once you've got it selected, go up to the Inspector and go to the Generator tab. And many, but not all, because Organic has clearly proved me wrong, many of these generators have parameters that we can change. Now this is kind of cool because it's got sort of this rugged, organic, falling off the edge of a cliff kind of look. Another good one is the one that's next to it. I like this one a lot. Because what we've got is these are a series of, of papers that have got swirls on them. And you can click on it. And the thing that I really want when I've got a background is I really want to have a texture. I want to have something that's more than just a solid color. And this watercolor, isn't that neat? Then what we do is, is we select this and now we'll apply a simple effect to it. And one of my favorites is go to a blur. So we go to the effects category, the effects browser and go down to where it says Blur. And when in doubt, the best blur to use is a Gaussian Blur. And notice, just by blurring that just a little bit, we're keeping the texture, we're keeping the color shift, but we're taking the edges off it. I could drop text on top of that and have it look wonderful. Well, let's just drop this Gaussian Blur on here. That's the default setting. Highlight it, go to the Inspector, go to the Video tab, and we can adjust the amount of the blur from way too much to barely enough. And the, the setting is around 50%. And again, there's no magic to where this blur setting is set. It's wherever feels good to you. Now I want to put text on top of this. But sometimes the background can be a little bright. So the next thing that I'll do is after I've added the blur is I'll roll down to the color setting, go to Correction 1, click the right pointing arrow. This opens up the color board. And the color board correction that I'll spend the most time messing with is the midtone. Is I'll just click on the exposure button up here, grab the midtone, and just drag it down a bit. Look at what's happening. I'm keeping my highlights. That's kind of bright. I'm keeping my shadows, but I'm really messing with the stuff in the middle. So I'm just going to take the edge off it. Just drop the midtones down just a little bit. And now we've got something which is really, really nice for text. All right, so I'm going to just copy that to the clipboard, edit, copy. We'll use that again a little bit later. Let's take a look at some of the other generators we've got. Um, uh, this is a fabric, 
And again, we'll click the left arrow, go up to where it says generator. This is a leather fabric. We've got linens. We've got wool. I love the, just the texture is so wonderful and so much more interesting than a flat color. We've got silks, which really sort of uh, plus minus. But let's go back to this um, leather. All right, again, I'm going to apply a blur, but I'm not going to apply a Gaussian blur. I'll apply a directional blur. So I'm going to drag a directional blur on here. This allows me to say, which way do I want to blur it? Do I want to blur it horizontally or do I want to blur it vertically? I tend to like horizontal blurs. It keeps sort of the sharpness there, but it blurs the horizontal. Again, it gives me, and I grab this arrow to adjust the amount of the blur. This allows me to set the direction and the amount. Really, really, really blurry. Not too blurry at all. There we go. I keep the texture. I just soften a little bit, and there's our directional blur. Here's another one, which is grunge. Select the clip, and we have a lot of different textures in grunge that we can play with. Again, we can apply filters to this. We can apply colorization filters, but I love the fact that we've got tons to choose from. Another good one is natural. And the stone, I like this stone a lot. The reason I mention this is sometimes it's really hard to find a background that we can key text over. And Apple has added generators. The initial release of Final Cut 10 Zero was, uh, was pretty light in the generator category. But they've added new generators with each additional release. And now there's a lot in there that you may have just sort of given up when you first looked at it when you got the program. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Creating Effects Inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store. Look for Webinar 79.